play other people. Yep. And one thing that Three, I've noticed, two, one, go. I don't know how Miles is going to deal with Pokalam in the corner. Pokalam's going to put himself willingly in the corner for a lot of this game, and there's no guarantee that Miles will find a way to actually exploit that to his advantage. As I say that, able to honestly find little hits here and there that can lead to some big damage. So maybe corner uh, cornering yourself isn't the right call if you're Pokalam. This is this is really hard for Villager. This is one of Villager's like genuinely most difficult matchups. And it's that Yoshi can really just get in on him so quickly, and Villager needs a lot of space to really set anything up. And even then, Yoshi's active hitboxes can more often than not completely invalidate Pellet. So this is just gonna be really difficult for Pokemon just to get anything going. Extending the hitbox on the balloons, but still has enough time to throw out a shield. Wow. All right, I was questioning whether Milos would be able to deal with Pokalam in the corner, but that's where he is strongest right now. That stock, the egg to forwarder, that is a true combo if the egg right, if the egg lands and the Yoshi can react to it. So, oh, he went for the forward air again. Oh, oh he went. My. Oh, he went for the forward air again. Yeah, he did it again. He's just going out there, knowing when Pokalam is most vulnerable, just hitting him where it hurts. Oh man, and this, like, yeah, that's the first time we've seen him plant a tree. He hasn't had the time to do any when of that. When you have a giant green dinosaur jumping in on you constantly, it's it's a little bit difficult to try to tend to your garden at some points. But now Pokemon trying to catch Miles in some of these dashes, able just to stuff out some of these pellets as well. He's playing at a really good range for himself, but he just needs to capitalize and find a way to get the stop. Ooh, my, I think he crouched right there and took reduce knockback from the, uh, from the Lloyd Rocket. <laughs> I don't think that's necessarily something he was willingly trying to do, but it did wow. keep him close enough to the ledge to continue up this pressure. I'm and oh. oh, not again, not again. <gasps> tries to go out there to maybe pop the balloons. Just keeps on putting on this pressure on Pokelam. Maybe tries to catch that air dodge in, so he held that F smash until the last possible second. This is such a nasty position to be in as Pokelam. <gasps> oh, <laughs> he almost got the punish with the up air. But nonetheless, this edge guard is still going. This has just been one long, drawn out edge guard. Pokelam finally finding a way to land, but then ends up being reversing right into Miles, getting uh, getting him away using Pellet there, and with well, Slingshot, and that's it. Yeah, wow. and Villager is one of those characters where, like, for instance, in the last matchup we saw with uh, Miles and Suarez, sometimes an air dodge would happen. But Miles wouldn't be able to position himself well enough to punish the yeah. air dodge. But Villager's air speed is so slow that if he does a neutral air dodge, you can absolutely, b you better believe he's going to be able to find the punish. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's like, keep in mind all those defensive options that were being puni mm -hmm. punished in that game. Uh, you had the air dodges, but also the shielding in the corner. The amount of times that Oakland would be shielding or just be in the corner, and Miles would just charge at him, tongue forward, and just grab him, throw him off stage. Yoshi's grab is usually pretty. <laughs> Sorry, I, choice of words, I guess. Well, anyway. Interesting. It just threw me off. I, I love it. I'm a fan. The thought I'm remains. A, listen, I'm a fan. Um, anyhow, game number two between the two. I mean, you guys. The way that Miles has just been jumping in on Pokelam into the corner, he's always been over committing to like Lloyd Rocket from the corner especially. Even though it's such a good option, it puts him into so much lag. And Miles is, knows exactly how not to respect it and punish him. Okay, this, oh, I thought he tried to go for a foot oh I, I will say that I feel like Pokelam would, if the opportunity arises, try and footstool a Yoshi. He seems like that kind of guy. I feel like that says a lot about a person. That is a very good judge of character, <laughs> I think. Oh, Pokelam, not even, I thought that was going to be like the double jump back. Uh, Miles not completely pushing in with that forward. He's not going to be able to find the spike. <gasps> He's committing so much, but he's still getting back onto stage faster than Pokelam. And that's Ooh. what matters. But double tur double three turn up. The fact he got the three turn up the first time and the three turn up the second, second meant that he had enough damage and kill power on the final hit to actually finish off that the That wood chip threw me off. I, I, didn't, I didn't see that wood chip at all. And you know what? It gave Pokelam the coverage that he needed to be able to get back on. Now Pokelam stuck in a corner, goes back on, but not for long because Miles still going to be able to close it out with an up and Yoshi fashion. 
you know, it feels like we've barely seen any true neutral in this game. Like, we're seeing a little bit of it right now, and I think the fact that we went to uh, Town and City means that Pokelem wants to be playing more neutral. But the reason why we haven't been... Look at the way that Pokelem is just moving around the tree. Like, what are you going to do? Jump in? Nope. I'm going to the other side of my tree, big boy. And there's nothing you can do about it. He's just... His his spacing and his movement has been so careful and meticulous this game. Oh! He just took so much... Oh man, Miles was doing pretty alright just a second ago. And then Pokolam started to figure out what he needed to be doing. And one of those things, just not willingly putting himself in the corner. He's able to duke it out on stage. He's a solid player with good fundamentals and neutral game. And that seems to be a much better plan for him. I to, feel like uh, Miles has started committing to a button immediately after he jumps. Every time he short hops, that's a button. Every single time he full hops, that's a button. And Pokolam has been doing a great job of adjusting to that. Use the egg to block the hit of uh, the back air. It's also worth noting that whenever we see... Oh, the armor! Oh, double jump. And Pokelem's going to find that back go, and that is going to be the stock. Yeah, great tracking for Pokelem. Maybe a bit of an antsy and, you know, erratic option for the Wilds, but listen, that's an awful place to be in. you got to just try your best. <gasps> that shield was gone, right? <laughs> I cannot believe they're both laughing. I'm pretty sure at that point, like, the, in a way, rolling was a risk. Like, yeah, because you can, you can get caught in the startup if you roll, right? So, like, it, yeah. it, it might be an issue. I mean, so, would he actually be able to hold it long enough? If the shield is angled, would it ever break from a fully charged forward smash? I don't know. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Uh, Pokemon. Oh, he had the good idea. He wanted to be able to get the sapling into a tree, but was just a couple of hitboxes of the water link can uh, away from being able to get it. That is actually the second time where Miles has just run straight through that, like the attempt to water the uh, the sprout, and has punished him for it. Earlier it was a neutral layer, that time it was an up smash for the kill. So if you're a Pokemon, you have to still respect. Okay, Why are we jumping? Respect. Why are we jumping? Why are we jumping? Uh, That's Pokemon on a platform, at the edge of a platform. Whenever you see a villager at the edge of a platform like that, they are up to no good. They're up to either throwing out a dash attack and, and trying to get like a funny little angle with the with the you know with pot, the pot, yeah. or they're throwing a bowling ball at you. Whenever the villager is at the edge of a stage, or they have a tree ready, they're genuinely just up to no good. Yeah, and it's sort of, well, bowling ball specifically, there are no consequences. It's like a kid whose parents just don't care. That's plus on shield. Know? That's it's plus, plus on shield. shield. It's like, what are you really gonna do? About you? Are you really gonna challenge yeah. the bowling ball? No. Have you ever tried happens. to challenge? Have you ever gotten a bowling ball dropped out of you? You try to challenge have you ever, it. Even, like, even in a bowling alley. Have you ever been on the other end of a bowling alley and tried to stop the bowling ball? No. Now you're just gonna explode. You try to block it, it'll break your arms too <laughs> while while you're at it. So it's definitely not in your best interest though to try to jump into a button like that. A Pokelam. Wow, look at these conversions. Yeah, up smashes a combo to a low percent. I knew that forward air was coming, but Pokalem stalled with the Void Rocket beautifully to avoid it. Oh, tries to catch that double jump, but Miles is still going to be able to get out of there in that forward air. Still there, strong enough. There, it's very subtle there, but so he armored through the neutral air. And I know so many Yoshis that would have died to that because they would have gone for jump neutral air, which is normally a great move for covering, especially a, a recovery that has no hitbox like Villager's upbeat. But instead, he armors through it, and that's what let him get back to stage and yep. find that forward air to finish the stock just a second later. Now Pokelem is just playing so patiently. He's looking for a way to be able to get in there. But as Villager, it just seems like you're not going to be taking your stocks that early. Saibi isn't going to do it quite yet. Yoshi just <laughs> hanging on by a thread. It, the weird thing is that, yes, Yoshi is hanging out by a thread, but at the same time, it can be so hard to snap that thread if he knows what your kill options are, which Villager has relatively predictable kill options. Yeah. Like that full hop right there, there was almost no way you could die for full hopping in that exact It's, it's going to be closely spaced slingshot, it's going to be back throw at, in the corner, or it's going to be like triple turnips. Um, but just or like the that. axe. Or the axe, or, or an edge guard. But the thing is, it just, it is extremely situational, and there are not usually options that you can throw out of space in neutral like that. Oh my. Look at this, this predicament that Pokelam's in. Uh, this is giving me flashbacks to game one. Pokelam trapped in the corner, nowhere to go, and Miles just turning up the pressure. The Pokelam just not able to do much, and an amazing follow. What a chase. But that DI right into the corner of Pokelam is going to be living just a little bit longer. 
and side B. The stug it up of it is so strong. Pokelam lives another day. He died. I, when I saw lightning, I got confused. Yes. All right. Speaking of lightning. <laughs> That's that tough because normally as a villager, you, when you're off stage, you have a little time. You have a little breathing room to be able to throw out side B. You can stall. You can stop your opponent from going out there for an edge guard. But Yoshi, being so fast in the air, he can go as deep as he wants to. He can go to any position off stage and be able to pressure and throw out hitboxes. So as Pokemon, your goal is not to be able to set up Lloyd. It's how can I get Yoshi off me? Did but you hear it? Did you hear the counter pick? Is he going to like Steve? He's Isabel. Oh, Isabel. Interesting choice. Uh, so I, I, I forget who it was against, but there was somebody where Pokemon was playing against them. And game one they went Villager, and they got bopped, absolutely bopped. I think it was against Swarius. Well, I've definitely seen them uh, last time that they were at Encore. Uh, we saw Pokemon and Swarius go at it, and Isabel just seems to do a really, really good job. I think it's also because, like, Pokemon definitely has a bit of a habit of using side beat out of pressure and out of corners, and that's how a lot of people find openings on them. Yeah, so one of the things that I remember about the Isabel, and one of the reasons why he counterpicked the Isabel, is for the up tilt. The up tilt is just such a good anti air. Let's go. Yup, yup, ayy, ayy, ayy. I love this game. Isabel's so cute. What? <laughs> I, I, uh. I, I missed the memo where that's a thing. You, you, oh, oh, that's, that's a thing, yeah. There isn't anything that you could do in that position. You just add. What? Wait, Miles, where are you going? Okay. Uh, off stage, apparently. Tried, tried the best. Uh, it's not going to be able to get it quite yet. Pokelam just neutralizing out of pressure there. Tries to side me to get back onto the stage. Miles not having the tracking that he needs. Yeah, it's you know, it's funny. Normally, he like he was going out there and killing villagers recovery, which is a lot trickier to actually nail down than Isabel's. But it's just these slight differences yeah. that are keeping Pokelam alive off stage, at least. On stage, not so much. That back you're going to be taking as well. The real relevant differences with Pokemon going into this, having safe tilts to actually pressure Yoshi's shield, which is a huge lacking quality of villagers, right? You don't have any safe buttons to effectively pressure anybody's shield. So just being able to press up tilt on somebody's shield like that is going to be so huge. And then not having access to Lloyd is going to help Pokemon a bit because he's not going to get caught in the corner of pressing side. Well, maybe that time he will be. <laughs> Oh, look at this pressure that Miles is putting on his shield. It's not enough catching that roll, I believe. Pokelam taking the stock. And Miles, it felt like he was so confident against the villager. And now this is, it, you know, they're both Animal Crossing characters. They shouldn't be this different. But the, like, the way that oh, no. he's playing him, Pokelam is He fell out of the, oh my. He's dead. I think he might be no, dead. No, he's not dead in the slightest. Yeah, no. Wait, what? He didn't yes, have he a is jump. Dead. He lost he, his double jump. He, he, uh, can the, 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 the side beat, that take him out of his double jump? Is it considered a grab? Oh, oh, oh my. Oh, buddy. Actually, is that something that's consistent? Whoa, whoa, wait, wait. What's, what are you asking? Whether it, and it just beats out, du it beats out uh, the double jump. Does it count as a grab to beat out the double jump? That's interesting because it's like a command hit, right? That's so, what I'm thinking. So it's, it's like it a weird doesn't command hit. Shields. But I guess, I guess it still has a grab box. I, I guess so. It's, I don't know. Maybe we'll see it again. That might be the real crux of why he counterpicked Isabel for many reasons. But like, that's also a is that big the one. one relevant interaction where Isabel side B actually counts as a grab? Is, is that the one time where that that actually comes into effect? I don't know. We might see it. Oh my. Later on here. Oh. Look at those conversions from Pokemon. I'm just able to put in a good amount of damage onto the board. But speaking of conversions, Miles are Miles already just putting the pressure on. Yeah. Also, a little subtle thing about both of the villagers' recovery <laughs> alive, um, is normally one of the things that Miles loves to do when the opponent grabs the ledge is to throw out an egg. But because of those balloons, he cannot do that. They will just eat the hit. So he has to be a little more creative without spot dodge read. Wow. I mean... Maybe it just wasn't a spot dodge. Maybe it was more so like a jump lead in that position that Miles went for. But you know what? Regardless, Pokeland finds that setup. Down B into up. It is about classic. Gets that kill and evens this game back up. <gasps> so smart right there. Going for that. Recognizing that Pokeland has gotten a little bit too comfortable shielding. He's going to try and prevent him from doing anything like Tries that. Tries to get the retreating hit of the side B, but Miles just so fast. Yoshi's just able to get through in time. Look at Isabel low profiling that back heel out of shield. And just having that shield pressure difference is, is it's really doing so much for Pokemon. He just downed it in his face. He got away with it. Okay. 
Miles is scared. I'd be pretty scared too. Went rolling right into that uh, down B that time around. Oh boy. Oh, buddy. <laughs> oh my. The, okay. I, the, I, I'm not sure exactly what Miles' plan was originally, but the, he just, he just, he was like, oh, okay, so you're going to just stand there and shield until your shield is like a little nub. All right, I'm going to throw it back at this multi-hit move. That shield pokes like nobody's business. Oh, and up smash actually going to be a projectile, much like Bayonetta's and Nessa's smash attacks. Uh, you can interact with it in the air, so really unfortunate uh, interaction for Pokelam there. But that time, up smash coming out quick enough is going to be able to close out that stock. But Miles' juggles, so competent, so comfortable going out there. Pokelam with no double jump, but ends up crossing uh, Miles back up and finds himself back on stage. That's going to be more big damage. Really He's just chasing him. Down. He's just not stopping. Yeah, and that's those those uh those balloons coming in really important. 123% though. Pokeland might need a crazy edge guard of some kind. These we shield kills from Pokeland are so smart, but tries to go through another retreating slingshot, but Miles was just ready to be in there that time. He was there at the right time. Yeah, so Miles, so Yoshi both has